ago, the singularity formed, its creators uplifted into something beyond our understanding. These beings, now known as the Lexites, left Earth, traveling to multiple planets in our solar system before vanishing altogether. This is why we are here. Welcome to Star Control, a state-of-the-art international space agency tasked with the exploration of our solar system and the defense of Earth. Here reside the world's brightest minds and greatest technology, brought together by a strong curiosity to discover the unknown. Help us pioneer the future. Join today. Welcome to Tran Wins Star Control Origins. I hope the intro gave you a taste of what's about to happen in the game. But before we continue, I feel that there are some weighty issues that I should at least acknowledge. And if that's not your cup of tea, please feel free to skip ahead at the timestamp listed on the screen now. Whether your opinion is that actions taken outside the game do or do not matter, it's still prudent to be aware of elements happening that could directly affect the Star Control franchise. So, for example, let's say I were to show this game to my wife. She's played Star Control too. If I were to show her this, she's like, oh wow, I love Star Control. She'd want to sit down and play this. But what if I told her that Star Control Origins, the people behind the game, are suing the people of the game she's actually played? That would leave her feeling very conflicted. So let's talk about that. Star Control takes place in a multiverse, which is basically an alternate universe away from the original trilogy. And there's a reason for that, which we'll get into in a minute. I believe it started with Atari filing for bankruptcy and then selling the IP to Stardot. And Fred Ford and Paul Reich III say like, hey, they couldn't do that, they were not allowed to, they sold something that wasn't theirs, we are still the owners. So they sued Stardock, and then Stardock countersued Ford and Reich. So they're basically fighting for control of the Star Control idea. I, I don't know why they, they didn't just come up with their own name, but alright. Because here's the thing, you didn't play the original DOS Star Control games, do you need to be familiar with them? No, it's a reboot, reimagining. It's a brand new story. So it's not going to be the Era Lala Lulule or the Chenjesu. They're not going to have uplifted or anything Earth people. That's not going to be in the store. It's going to be a brand new lore. So you don't have to know any of the lore. It's go. It's it's just brand. It's a brand new game. They didn't need the Star Control name. I don't know. Now we're, we'll get into why it's brand new universe. I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. But if you want to read this in depth, I'll leave the link in the description below. But if we take a look here, Kevin Unext, the vice president of marketing and strategic development said that he has no choice but take legal action to defend the Star Control IP, and so he began countersuing Ford and Reich. Ford and Reich said that they need to, to be engaged in this legal battle to protect the races, ships, narrative, and other creative materials. So that is why I believe that this is a brand new universe. So why am I playing this game? Because I'm really here to play the game, not to try to get involved in some sort of legal battle that I neither know nor have an influence over. Really, we're just kind of trying to turn our brains off and sit back and enjoy the game. So that's what this channel is more about. Let's play the game and fully explore it. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. Is there a leaderboard? Okay. Oh, I like that there's little comments at the bottom. We need you to save the universe. No pressure. Achievement unlocked, one small step. Oh, come on, don't give me this lame achievement. That's not an achievement. We believe this is an alien transmission. And this is originating from where, exactly? It's local. Triton. Recall the captain. Tell him that he's needed. He's still on administrative leave from the incident. That no longer matters. He's the only one qualified to command the prototype Vindicator.
Apparently I had to turn in my badge and my gun. Verify your identity. Tran. <laughs> Called to duty. Please report to the UES Vindicator for a high priority mission. Commander Scarlet will be awaiting your arrival. Mission difficulty. I don't know. Do I feel like having a challenge? I don't. I, I generally don't. I just do it because I think people will enjoy it more. I think I only do when people enjoy watching the struggle. Um, we're just gonna put easy. <laughs> mm, let's let's try expert and see what it's like. It'll probably really really badly own me. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming over to you shortly, Captain. Time to get started. Star Control is ordering you to travel to Triton and investigate the alien radio signal that's originating there. The last of the crew and supplies should be coming... Oh, wait, that's that's just what she said. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> what do we know about this radio signal? It's just a series of regular pulses at 1.42 gigahertz. That's the hydrogen line, in case you've forgotten your radio astronomy. Some very excitable men in glasses are pretty sure if aliens ever try contacting us, they'll do it on that frequency. They are substantially less certain why aliens might be on one of Neptune's moons, though. What should I do when I reach Triton? Scan its surface from orbit. If you find the signal, send one of your ship's landers down to the surface to examine it further. If it is an alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. Should I attempt to make contact with Alien? If you believe it's safe to do so, yes. Just please be careful, Captain. Let's try the other option if it lets me. If it is an Alien, you are ordered to not die and tell us right away. But otherwise it's safe to die. Sure, you die as much as you want, Captain. Just send the ship back. Does this supersede our mission to investigate the Lexites? Not entirely. Their departure is the whole reason we have a star control in the first place. Your mission to Triton takes priority, but if you do discover anything concerning the Lexites, you should tell us right away. Do we know why the Lexites left? We still have no idea. For post-humans, or whatever they call themselves, they sure didn't talk about themselves as much as us original versions like to. We've combed over their facility on the moon hoping to find some hints, but haven't found anything. They never seemed to be upset with us, or expressed any great unhappiness with their situation on Earth. Which is maybe surprising considering some of the abuse they took. My theory? They got bored with us. Bored with human affairs. Maybe bored of our smell. Do we know where the Lexites went? After they left Earth in 2085, we know they set up on the moon for a short while, but that was just a staging area. So they're out there somewhere. That was most helpful. Are the Lexites dangerous? Well, they're essentially human, so yes. But even during the chaos of their exodus, when they were stealing our launch craft, they went to great lengths to avoid harming anyone. Still, they obviously have access to technology we've never even contemplated. If you do run into them, be careful, Captain. That's enough about the Lexites. Sure, Captain. Any advice on the actual journey to Triton? You've already forgotten how to captain a starship, Captain? That's not a good sign. What do you want to know? How do I fly my ship? You use your thrusters to fly forward and steer. Knowing your fondness of old computers, you probably have configured your maneuvering thrusters to be the left and right cursor keys, and thrust will be the up key. Braking maneuvers typically require you to turn the entire ship around and thrust in the opposite direction. That's the basics, at least. 
If you want to refresh your combat maneuvering skills, you can visit the training facility at Ceres as well. Well, I kind of think the other captains who fly using the Y, J, V, and Q keys are a little odd. So yes, I do favor those directional keys. How do I visit planets? Your ship's computer will automatically put the ship into a safe orbit of any planet in the solar system once you get close enough to it. Scanning the planet from orbit will reveal items and resources of interest, as well as potential landing zones you can send your landing craft to. How do I upgrade my ship? We have limited resources here right now, Captain. We used up a lot rushing the construction of that vessel. If you find raw materials on any worlds in the system, you can return with them here. We'll calculate what they're worth and present this to you as resource units, or RU. You can use RU to purchase new components for your ship. That's it, thanks. Hope that helps, Captain. Okay, I'll get started. Star Control has accelerated the construction of our new modular deep solar system vessel specifically for this mission. It's the fastest, most expensive ship humanity has ever made, Captain. Try not to lose it. I will. It's also equipped with our latest resource collection landers, which I would encourage you to make heavy use of. We used up a lot of materials to make that thing. If we want to make any more Vindicator-class vessels, we're going to need you to collect the resources to do it. Looks like you've got everything stowed away now, Captain. You're all set. Good luck, and please hurry. There are a lot of people down on Earth anxious to find out what's going on. Close communications channel number one. <laughs> All right, so it's a uh, tank controls. I couldn't click there, so. Captain, you survived. I did. But tell me, Captain, what did you find out on Triton? <laughs> there was some ice. Did you take your lander down to explore its surface? Not as such, no. You were sent out there to find the source of that mysterious radio signal. And you didn't. Are you proud of yourself? Do you think you've done a good job today? Well, I thought I was going to talk to someone else since I figured you were the star base. But maybe I'll go have a closer look at Triton. Well, it's good that you're volunteering, Captain. Because we're also ordering you to. Before we go, we'll need to resupply a few things. Oh? Like what? We'd just like to upgrade our ship. Not satisfied with the way we set it up for you, Captain? Unfortunately, things are a little tight around here. We've used up almost every resource we had making that ship of yours. Even making payroll has been challenging. I have not been too popular around here lately. You are paying me, Return though, right? with any resources you find on your travels. We'll use advanced space accounting practices to determine what we can build with them. This will all be presented to you as resource units, or RU which you can then exchange for fuel or other supplies. How do I, how do I get rid of my nuke? Can I not? Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. Is there anything else? Actually, we had a couple more things to do at the starbase. Oh, I thought she was going to tell me more stuff. Is there anything else? Nope, we'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. Close the communications channel. Let's get out of here. Is that Triton? Is it Triton in this direction or is that just... Welcome to Ceres, Captain! This station was designed to test the military capabilities of newly deployed ships as well as the tactical abilities of command officers. 
You passed all of this years ago, although we still have test drones available. If you want to brush up on your skills, this is automatically moving. I assume that I can look at the log here, though. Yeah. Tell me about yourself. Captain Aiden Emery, at your service. I was actually one of the other candidates considered for command of the Vindicator prototype. Why did you take this mission? I've always been more interested in the scientific side of Star Control than the political. And Captain, I've got a feeling your job is going to be pretty political. And this is a pretty lightly crewed station. Most days, I don't even have to wear pants. Just so you don't feel awkward, I did put on pants before speaking with you. Thanks. That's terrific news. Well done. Thanks, Captain. You're out here alone? Yep, I've always done okay on isolated assignments. Felt like a good fit. And my family. My wife died a few years ago. Maybe I was searching for something like this. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. I've got two sons in Star Control as well, so they keep in touch. No visits, though, but the 268 million kilometer coming you might be responsible for that. Why didn't you want to captain this ship? It's the most expensive ship humanity has ever built, Captain. A lot of people are watching you. That's not for me. Enough about you. No problem, Captain. Can I do anything else for you? I have some questions about my ship. Then you come to the right place, Captain. What would you like to know? How does combat work? During combat, you have two main resources, crew and energy. When you take damage, lives are cost, Captain. Real lives. If you run out of crew, it's game over. When you fire your weapons, they consume energy. Energy is restored over time, but you're still going to want to make every shot count. Tell me about my weapon systems. Your ship is designed to hold two types of weapons. You have your primary weapon and your secondary weapon. For budgetary reasons, the prototype Vindicator class was deployed with only the primary weapon system attached. But what a weapon it is, a guided nuclear missile. Not only does it pack a pretty big punch, it has limited homing capabilities too. With any luck, the nuke will frighten away whatever scared the Lexites off. I have some other questions. No problem, Captain. Can I do anything else for you? Let's run a trial. What sort of trial would you like to run? Let's run a targeting trial. Great work! So would you like to run another trial? Let's run a combat trial. I hope that didn't cost me any crew. <laughs> that would be really sick if it did. Great work, Captain. There's something you should have. I think you'll be able to make better use of it than we will here. Something, something. <laughs> Remember, you'll need to visit the Starbase back at Earth if you want to install that. So would you like to run another trial? Throw everything you have at me. Captain, are you sure? Star Control is going to be pretty upset with me if I blow up your ship. Yes, bring it on.
Great work! You can sure handle that ship, Captain. You're definitely the right one for the job. Here, there's something you should have. Might come in handy. Remember, something base install that. So would you like to run another trial? I don't want to run a trial. No problem, Captain. Can I do anything else for you? No trials right now, thanks. We'll just be going. No problem, Captain. Good luck out there. Wow, that did cost me crew. <laughs> Hold on, that, that was... Really, game? Your tr This trial kills my people. Achievement in Lock Codex. Can I load? Is there an autosave? We'll do that some other time when I get better gear, but no, I'm not I'm not I'm not condemning 40 men to death. Just to shoot nukes in space. We are better than that. <laughs> And we've located the source of the radio signal. It looks like there's a crashed ship down there. We should take a lander down to investigate. So am I supposed to fly over that to collect anything, or...? I think I got an achievement, but I didn't see it in time. Resource collected. Press tab to view your inventory and fleet status screen. You actually came. I can't tell you how sweaty we are to see you. Who are you? Your friends? Maybe? I am Chief Viscosity Officer Windu of the Taiwan. Nice to meet you, Windu. I'm a human of Earth. You think it's nice to meet me? That's a wonderful change from the usual disgust and contempt we receive when meeting new species. We're not going to imitate the Vux first contact here, so we're good. What are you doing on Triton, Wimdu? It's a funny story. You'll like it. It starts with these guys called the Scribe. They're the ones who shot us down. They're kind of our friends. If people shoot at you, they're not really your friends. I know this because I just loaded my game. That makes so much sense when you say it that way. We're actually trying to protect you from the Scribe. We began receiving your radio transmissions about 50 years ago. You're a fascinating species. And because we knew the Scribe would destroy you if they found you, we've been keeping you a secret from them. At least we were. Until a few months ago, the Scribe had evidently received traces of your radio broadcasts themselves. They dropped some pretty terrifying hints that they were looking for you. We were on our way here to stall them, which we did, by getting shot down by them. Hence the distress call. Seems like you need more help from us than the other way around. That's a fair point. Still, what's a few favors between friends? What help do you need? Well, let me explain. The Scribe are looking for you in this area of space. They don't know exactly where you are, but they will find you. Not a lot of humans are going to survive that process. The good news is, we can help you, if you help us first. Most of our systems were squished when we dropped out of hyperspace. Our hyperwave radio was one of them, which is why we had to call for help the old-fashioned way. Also, 
half of our entire ship fell off. Now we might actually be able to repair all that damage, but we will definitely need that other half of our spaceship back. You can fix half your ship falling off. We can? I don't want to bore you with all the little technical details. Simply put, we are really good at our jobs here. Where did the other half of your ship go? It went down on a planet somewhere in your solar system. I'm not sure where precisely. All planets look the same when you're crying. Though if I had to guess, I'd say it was around one of your larger, bluer worlds. Also, we lost a couple of hyperdrive modules. We'll definitely need those if we want to not starve to death far from home. Those definitely went down somewhere in your inner solar system. I know this is a lot to ask. But finding all of this shouldn't be a problem for a ship with both its halves. Let's talk about the help you're going to offer us first. The biggest help I can offer is this. We'll be your friends, and not just me and my crew, all Taiwan everywhere. We'll share technology and explain how the galaxy works and how to avoid getting killed by the scribe. We've been not getting killed by the scribe for a while now. Not that I'm bragging. Okay, I'm bragging a little. <laughs> so, will you help? We had some questions first. You want to learn more about us? I have never been moister. What do you want to know, best friend? So you've been spying on us. Spying makes it sound so creepy. I mean, it is creepy. It just doesn't have to sound that way. We prefer to call it potential friend oversight. Why were you spying on us? The scribe have sort of left us in charge of this part of their empire. Though not in a way which gives us any actual authority. But that is how we found you about 50 years ago. We thought about contacting you a lot. But experience has taught us that it's wise not to interfere with aliens before they're ready. Mostly, we just watched your television shows. You're a lot shorter in person. Did you know that? <laughs> Were you the ones with the abductions? With the probing? No, that was you. We just watched. Some humans went into the woods and came out walking funny. And they made all that up as an excuse. We never had anything to do with that. No matter how much we wanted to talk to you, and hug you, and hold you, and cuddle you, until you could travel the stars for yourselves, it was safest if we just left you alone. We wanted to ask about something else. Of course. Tell us more about these scribes. They're the dominant species in this part of the galaxy. Or at least the part of the galaxy we know about. When we first reached the stars, it was the scribe that met us and forcefully included us into their empire. How were you protecting us from them? Because we knew the scribe would wipe you out if they found you. We've often kept the ship in the area to steer them away if they came by. Don't even bother checking out that yellow star, we'd say. Not a great plan, I realize, as I say it out loud. But it was never an issue. They actually don't care that much of what happens in this neighborhood. Until just recently, anyways. And why were you protecting us? Entirely unselfish reasons, you could be sure of that. Honestly, once we started watching your shows and writing fan fiction for your shows and then uh, taking that fan fiction a bit too far for your shows, 
We could hardly just sit back and do nothing. That's enough about the scribe. Yeah, we don't much like talking about them either. That's enough questions. So, will you help? I, 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 ju I just want to say one, but for the sake of the, of the series, I'm going to go talk to Earth first to see what they have to say. We need to contact Earth first. Just wait here. Okay, just try not to think about it too long. Because we'll still die here. <laughs> Close communications channel. I know that's actually an action, but I think it's more amusing to say it. <laughs> He seems to be playing the role of Fwifo. Am I full? Oh, I am full. I wonder if that wasted some. And uh, Star Control 2, it would waste some resources if you're too full to pick up anything else. Because the no entire node would disappear. So if it was like worth 500 points and you had room for 300, you'd lose the other 200. So I will have to look at the footage and see if I get as many in the top left orange number that was deducted from resources remaining. You also had to balance out because balance out with how many times you went back to your ship because it would cost you it would cost you fuel every time you deployed the amount of fuel that was used was dependent on the planet let's make a save first save and let's go back to earth and see what they have to say and then we'll probably load and go talk to him and say yeah that's okay we'll help you Was that a concern? Not anymore, it isn't. But tell me, Captain, what did you find out on Triton? There was a cool alien there. What? You tell the commander everything. Well, not everything. Everything pertinent. Well, it sounds like you did the right thing offering to help, Captain. Our exobiologists have been studying the recordings of your conversation with the alien. Based on their word choice, blinking, and overall clamminess levels, we believe that this one was genuinely in fear for his life. So we've come to a conclusion. We want you to help them. This is too great an opportunity to pass up. Just remain cautious. There's no reason to trust these Taiwan fully just yet. He said he's missing, like, half his ship. Well, if what this Taiwan says about the scribe is even remotely true, I think we need to help. The chance to establish friendly relations with an alien civilization is too great to pass up. Especially if they can in any way help us stop a threat to our civilization. Go find the missing parts of their ship, Captain. They should be around here somewhere. Are you sure we need to help this alien? Captain, I'm being serious. You must render assistance to this alien immediately. If you can't do it, Star Control will find someone who can. He says he needs half his missing ship. Well, if what this Taiwan says about the scribe is even remotely true, I think we need to help. The chance to establish friendly relations with an alien civilization is too great to pass up. Especially if they can in any way help us stop a threat to our civilization. Go find the missing parts of their ship, Captain. They should be around here somewhere. Before we go, we'll need to resupply a few things. Oh? Like what? We lost quite a few of our landers, hint hint. You did? Those aren't cheap, Captain. Neither are the poor guys who drive them.
We don't even have enough to change anything. That was barely anything. Is there anything else? Nope, we'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. Close communications channel and load the game. Now, that is Neptune right there, but it is a gas giant, so there's probably nothing we can do with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go past it and... It's Artemis. Yeah, ever since we found this thing all the way out here in the 40s, scientists have been wondering if it would get more interesting. And, uh, nope. Not today. Okay. Well, thanks for that. Captain, we're detecting movement on the surface. Looks like some kind of robotic drones. It might be dangerous to send the lander down unarmed. So what do you suggest? Why don't we just nuke it from orbit? Captain, it's going to be too dangerous entering this place until all these drones are dead or asleep or... Well, they probably don't need sleep, do they? They're just dead, though. Okay, uh, nothing over here, then. I was thinking that this would be what I was looking for, but guess not. Is that blue? Over there's another gas giant. Probably one of the little moons of Saturn over there. Sir, we're detecting two unidentified objects on the surface of Mars. Is this something to do with Alexites or something else entirely? Not even... Oh, there we Looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules those aliens are missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now. Alright, looks like we're gonna hit every single body in this solar system. This 
looks like part of an alien spaceship, Captain. I bet this is one of the hyperdrive modules. Let's go and make another save, and I guess we'll start cleansing the system. Oh, a Scrive Probe, uh oh. Patterns for any authorized sentient being. EM broadcast detected. Spectrum analysis. Technological development level T3. 2D image in broadcast identified. Processing. Facial edge discrimination does not match known sentience in this sector. You are not a Taiwan. Who are you? No, we're Taiwan. Check again. Remain where you are. A scribe legate has been notified of your unauthorized existence and is approaching this sector now. Hold. Transmission incoming. New orders received. Local fleet probe vessel zero will clear a system of unauthorized organic vessels. Continue to remain where you are. No, I don't think so. No, come on. <laughs> Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a... Oh great, lightning storms. This is a heck of a thing, Captain. We found some kind of monument here. At least, I think it's a monument. It's a big, multicolored slab of metal with odd protrusions sticking out of it. Balls and sticks, kind of. There's text on it, or graffiti. Pictures of aliens fighting? I'm honestly not sure. No human language, anyways. Not much we can do with it but admire it. And done. We'll just leave this here, then. Okay. We found that monument again, Captain. At least I th there's text on. Not much we can do with it, but admire it. This is probably gonna be too hot. 
<laughs> Captain, the weather on this planet will make landing very difficult. We'll need better landers to manage it. And this is going to be a gas giant. I was hoping you'd have something to say. Now, I won't show me mining every planet ever. There's a reason why nobody else has picked up all this crap. Have one planet left, but I've got only two spots left in my hole. I was hoping to avoid having to come back to Earth, but all right, we'll do it. You're back. How was Triton, Captain? We were just attacked by an alien probe. You were what? You filmed the commander on your recent encounter with the alien probe. Well, that's terrifying. Unauthorized organics? Clear our system? That doesn't sound good. But let's break this down into parts. First, these Taiwam you found on Triton. Our exobiologists have been studying the recordings of your conversation with the alien. Based on their word choice, blinking, and overall clamminess levels, we believe that this one was genuinely in fear for his life. So we've come to a conclusion. We want you to help them. This is too great an opportunity to pass up. Given what you've just told us about this scribe probe, it sounds like this is a pretty credible threat. Well, if I tell us that the scribe is really true, I mean help. The truth of such a is too great to pass up. Especially if they can take a lot of threats towards the lesion. Go in the first section. Make sure you're somewhere. Oh, what? Not satisfied with the other reason. Unfortunately, these are a little tighter around here. These are the ones that are used to attacking measures. Even in cables and judging, I have nothing to cover around here lately. Make sure you're putting these things on your trolls. Please, if you have to see contracts, it's generally built on. This will be used to you as reasonable, or are you? Which you can't change your whole horizon. So do I not want to sell these? Hold on, let me let me save. Is there anything else? Nope, we'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. How did your mission to help the alien go? Okay, let's try. I want, let's see what happens when I buy this. So it did cost me 1500 exactly. Huh, weird. Okay. Satisfaction guaranteed, not a guarantee. <laughs> All right, so these are special. Okay. All right, I think I kind of get it. So you basically buy an inventory system and then you stuff it on your ship. Okay. And there's actually nothing I want to buy. Is there anything else? Nope, we'll get back to work. Good luck, Captain. Alright, so that explains that. So I don't actually want to buy anything. Man, uh, this... <laughs> Not particularly fun. Like... Out of all the things to make the player do, first and foremost, I, I get that they want you to build up and be powerful, but this is not a good intro to the game. 
is making the player do this. You know, I used to load if I ever picked up one cargo too many or lost a single guy. I've played entire campaigns of Star Control where I didn't lose anybody. I don't think we're going to do that this time. <laughs> And I'm aware this is a gas giant, but I just want to see if my allies will say anything. Plus, it might be important to scan every planet or something. Powerful winds may make safely landing on this planet extremely difficult. <laughs> we'll pass on it for now. Check out Venus. Probably can't land on it, but let's check it out anyways. Captain, this planet is well beyond our ability to land on. We'll need to find some way to improve our lander technology to have a hope of safely exploring the surface here. But see, the thing is, even if I can't land on it, I just want to check out the planet. Captain, this planet is well beyond... Russian space probe, Captain. It's neat, but not much we can do with it. How about turning in an RU? Don't, don't take up all day for me to find this thing. There it is. Sir, we're detecting an unidentified object on the surface. We may want to send a lander down to investigate. This looks like the part of the ship that friendly slug is missing. We'll load it up onto the lander now.
Come on, one single resource. Where could, where is it? There we go. So what I'll probably do is uh, edit out all the mining of any any planet that doesn't have anything interesting for itself. Captain, it looks to be a crashed automobile. No idea how it got out here. We are sending it up to the ship for examination. back. How did your mission to help the alien go? So, let's see, what modules can I afford? Primary C. I don't really need an automatic thing. Do I? Let's get an anti-gravity thruster. Jump plus 200%. I don't know. Let's... No, that's not for now. I need things that save my life more than I need things that travel a little better. Maybe advanced nuke. Is there anything else? Good luck, Captain. All right, let's see how the training facility goes with this. Also, it does, since it doesn't cost me crew, maybe I shouldn't worry too much about it. This is how people start getting callous, I think. Like in the past, it crew cost you, are you? There's something you should have. I think you'd better make better use of it than we will here. Advanced nuke. So he gives me a free advanced nuke? Let's see if he actually gives me a second advanced nuke or if it would it just unlocks it. You're back. How did your mission to help the alien go? I lost a bunch of people to our own race, that's what happened. Thank you. 
Interesting. So if I don't own the point defense before I get it from him, I can't equip two different point defense? What if I... What if I buy the point defense? Then what happens? Let's find out. Anything else? Good luck, Captain. Let's try it. That, that's 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 what I do. I try to break the game as much as possible. First, we'll tag Neptune. Then we'll chat with him. Seriously, where is he? Our new probable friends came back. So, will you help? We just got attacked by a scribe probe. You did? That's not good. Did you tell them we were here? <laughs> no, but it said some pretty concerning things about clearing our system. Well, now that sounds extremely not good. Like I said, if you help us repair our ship, we might be able to help you deal with these scribe. So, will you help? We'll help. In fact, we've already found everything you need. Great! Now we can fix our ship! You stand by, watching the Taiwan fix their ship with surprising speed. It worked! <laughs> we've repaired the hull damage and restored power to our propulsion systems. It will take another minute or so to get our defensive systems online. So please, don't murder us! <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't dream of it. Great! So, my new damp chum, why don't we head back to Earth? You can introduce us to your parents! And leaders. We can tell them what we've told you. Or we could just hang out. Or you could hold up your end of the deal. Of course. Nothing would make me moister. You're not swimming with any diseases, are you? Most definitely. But we have procedures to minimize the health-related risks of contact with alien species. Meeting aliens is not new to us, human. Come on, then. Hooray! Let's head back. Oh, there's the other ship. This is why I was looking at the weapons now. So far, it's playing kind of like a retelling of Star Control 2. And you don't have permission to be here. That's funny. We haven't seen you around here much. Savage, you don't even know us. Do not attempt to hide it. 
We saw the weapons break as we approached this system. We see the wreckage now. When I communicate the details of our encounter to Scribe no Seat, they will be most displeased at the loss of our equipment. You gotta live first. <laughs> you said you haven't told your superiors about us yet. Whoa, where did that come from? That's a rhetorical question, actually. I know exactly where that came from. A bad, bad place. We're still repairing our weapon systems, so we won't be able to help you. Which is a shame, because we really, really wanted to do that. Good luck! Yeah, get out of my way. Let me show you how this is done. Jeez! Great, best friend. You are so awesome. And sexy. What? What? Look, let's just get back to the deal. Of course. And it's not just a humanity-saving deal now. It's also a Taiwan-saving deal. I don't know if you caught it. But that scribe didn't just threaten to kill all Taiwan everywhere. That's not gonna go over well back home. But first, let's go to Earth. I imagine your leaders will want to talk about this. And when you get here, we have something we need to give you. Close communications channel. Man, I lost half my crew in that one blast. And I brought back a friend. So I see. You filled the commander in on your various alien saving and alien killing activities. So, we're definitely not alone in this universe. We've suspected as much for a while. Those weird caves on Ceres, the scraps of distant radio signals, all those missing giraffes. But this proves it. There are aliens out there. Including some pretty mean ones. These scribes sound terrifying. The Taiwan seem to have allied with them somehow. I don't know if allied is the right word. Wimdu claims the scribes sometimes integrate new aliens into their empire as vassal states of some kind. And if what Wimdu says is true about their current attitude to young alien species, obliterated sounds like the more likely fate they'll have planned for us. But your successful engagement with them lends us hope that we might not be completely defenseless. A shame it had to come to that. No one woke up today wanting a war with a race of murderous space centaurs. Kinda why I bought the game. We'll begin preparing a defensive fleet right away. Still, there's a lot about this situation that we don't know. What do you think of this Wimdu? Do you trust him, Captain? I don't trust anyone, but I haven't seen anything to make me doubt him. You're lucky then. He kept trying to hug me. But it doesn't look like we can afford to turn down any friends at this point. The Taiwan have graciously offered to install something on your ship. They call it a hyperspace module. With it, you'll apparently be able to travel faster than the speed of light. We want you to go with the Taiwan to his home planet and request an alliance with his people. Sounds easy. A little modesty might help here, Captain. If this works, we'll be sending actual diplomats later to handle the details. 
But Wimdu has insisted that you make the first gesture. I think he has a bit of a crush on you. And you did save one of their ships. The Taiwan will trust you more than any other human. Moreover, you wouldn't be in command of that ship if you weren't smart, diplomatic, and adaptable. Don't forget good looking. Plus, you've passed all the sanity tests. Sure did. Nice, Captain. We've helped patch up the Taiwan ship. They've requested you travel with them to their homeworld in the Alpha Repeculae system. Head there right away. Then, if you can, negotiate an alliance between the Taiwan and Earth. After that, see what other information you can gather about the Scribe and the galaxy around us. Paying particular attention to the parts of the galaxy that want to destroy us. We need to get up to speed quickly here. Well, we're off into the great unknown then. Good luck, Captain. Close communications channel. Let's make a save. That's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching Tran wins Star Control Origins. I'll see you next time.